All right, now you may say, oh, you cheated, you know, you used MATLAB, you, you made it do all the work for you, uh, you didn't really solve the problem. Okay, fine, fair enough. Uh, let's just go ahead and work through this problem uh, and solve it. So we have y equals a, f um, we'll just, I'll just call it y equals ax e to the bx. Okay, so let's, let's work it out by hand, uh, do it the hard way. Uh, y equals ax e to the bx. All right, well, the first thing we have to do is linearize this. And so we have this e in here. So we'll just take the logarithm of both sides. And we'll use the natural logarithm. Uh, so we'll say the ln of y uh, equals the ln of a. And, and, and the multiplication here, we can just, that's addition. So ln of a plus ln of x uh, plus uh, bx. The, the exponent just comes right down. Uh, times the ln of e, uh, which we all know is 1. Uh, if you don't, you do now. Uh, okay, so um, now we have to uh, get this into a nice uh, equation. And um, we have this ln of x, and I, it really doesn't have any coefficient multiplied by it. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull it to the other side. So that gives us the ln of y minus the ln of x. Uh, is equal to uh, ln of a, which needs to be estimated, right, uh, plus bx. And uh, really, that's uh, that pretty much gets us there. This is going to be the right-hand side. This will be the, the other side. So, so we'll, I'll just write it out like this. Then um, our basis then for the ln of a, that's just going to be multiplied by 1. So I'm going to have 1 all the way down, 1, okay. Uh, and then uh, multiplying by our b, we're going to have x, so we'll just call that x1, x2, x3, all the way to xn, okay? And that's uh, the, the first part of the system of equations. Uh, and then the next part, we're going to have the ln of a, ln of a, uh, and then the other part is just going to be a regular b, and that's going to equal the right-hand side vector is going to be then uh, ln of y minus the ln of x, and that'll be y1 and x1, ln of y2 minus ln of x2, uh, and all the way down to ln of uh, yn minus ln xn. All right, uh, and so there's our there's our complete uh, our complete s uh, system of equations, um, and, and of course, uh, you know I, I just did it this way because this is the way I like to think about it because I like to solve it with the matrix. I, I showed you the the way to do that uh, um, uh, in a previous video. The generalization it also talks about it um, in the book on pages. Uh, let me check. On pages 477 through 480, uh, that where it talks about the general uh, uh, linear least squares and uh, the matrix formulation. That's the formulation that I'm doing, in particular on page uh, 479. It talks all about it. Um, so I mean, we could do a different formulation and say SR equals, but uh, we'll just do it this way. And uh, you can recall that that we can solve this. They call this the matrix Z, and uh, they call this the matrix. Um, a, they call it A, I'm going to call it C because it's our coefficients, uh, C, and then they call this the matrix uh, Y, not to be confused with the other Y, and then they say the solution to this is Z, whoops, Z transpose Z times A, which they call A, it's Z times C equals y. And so we can just solve that. Uh, well, that's not that's not y. It should be z transpose y. Because what we do to one side, we have to do to the other side. And um, so that's it. Um, and we could just solve that in, Mat in MATLAB. Just do a, a, a z transpose z back divide z transpose y. Uh, so let's just go ahead and, and switch over to MATLAB and do that.
Okay, so I've still got my uh, my x in here, and I still got my y in here uh, from from previously when I put them in here, and so we just uh, write this out. So we'll say our matrix uh, Z then is equal to uh, our um, let's see matrix Z is equal to one. So we'll, first, let's let's get an n. N is going to be the length of x should equal the length of y as well so n is 9 in this case and so the first part of our matrix z is going to be uh, ones uh, and it's going to be n by 1 uh, and then we're going to have uh, then we're just going to have x's so then it's just going to be x and I've got to transpose it because it was a column vector now it's got to be a uh, it was a row vector now it's got to be a column vector and that's our z so that should look uh, pretty good. Um, yeah. Uh, and then uh, we should have our, let's see, n is length x. So, okay, now we say um, our y, capital Y, we'll call it. And that's going to be the log, the ln, but the MATLAB, if we say log, that's that's the natural log by default. ln of y uh, minus ln of x, and we've got to we've got to transpose that as well because those are row vectors. So I'll transpose that. Okay, and so then we're just going to go our coefficients. I'm going to call them c is equal to um, z transpose z back divide z transpose y um, oh of course I have to put the time signs in there uh, okay and there there are the coefficients and uh, you'll recall that um, that the the bottom one is is just b straight up um, so uh, let's just go ahead and write that switch back over here and write that then our, our b coefficient, those are our original, original equation, that coefficient b is equal to minus 2.4733, minus 2.4733, and our a is equal to, well, we don't know what a is equal to yet, but we know that the ln of a equals 2.2682, Two point two six eight two. All right, and so that means that a equals just e to that. Uh, a equals exp c one. Okay, nine point six six one eight. Uh, nine point six six one eight. Okay, so uh, there we have our. A and B, and that's our that's our solution. Uh, we can go ahead and check this real quick in MATLAB. So we just say plot uh, x, y, and we'll plot it with uh, uh, red uh, circles. And uh, okay, there they are. Okay, and then we're gonna go x, x. We'll just put these close together. Uh, min x 0 0.01 max x. Okay, so we should have lots of those, uh, and then we're going to say uh, y y equals, and then we're just going to put in our equation, a um, uh, times x times e to the uh, b, which is c two. I didn't specify it any different. C two uh, times x, and um, we have to do a, a dot multiply here, um, yeah, and that should be, we're going to do it by xx, right, because we want it at all the points. Uh, let's hold on, plot um, xx, yy, okay, um, so here is our plot that we came up with and um, looks pretty good. It, it doesn't look too bad. We, we've, 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 uh, 
I mean, I, it looks like we've done it right. We've got approximately the right values. Uh, we can actually go ahead and compare these if you want. So our, our A was equal to C, or our, we had our A and our B was um, C2. So we had uh, 9.66 and minus 2.47. If we go over and look at what we had here with the uh, curve fitting thing, it's pretty much the same, 9.897 uh, minus, uh, minus 2.532. And, and we were we were inverting an ill-conditioned, Ill uh, we were solving an ill-conditioned system anyway, so MATLAB probably has a little bit smarter way of doing it. Maybe that's why they're different, but they're not, they're not that different. So um, so it looks like, uh, looks like we did this one uh, pretty good, and it worked out okay.